Hi guys, so this morning I'm going to kick off the Diamond Press um, reviews tutorials uh, with this one that people have been really looking forward to. It's the Happy Mail Pull Dies and Stamp Auto Ship. So, uh, well, it's a stamp, not the auto ship yet, obviously, but um, stamps and dies. Uh, Diamond Press did send these items for my review free of charge, and all opinions are my own. And any links I have in the description box will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you're, you were purchased any items through those links. So, thank you guys for using those. Um, so, I had mentioned before that I was gonna have some rough edits because I was gonna do this one initially to start off all the reviews, but I realized I had an auto ship and I didn't want to show it to you if, if for some reason the link would be there but the auto ship wasn't with it, then you guys purchased it without the auto ship if you wanted the auto ship. So I didn't want to confuse anybody. But then uh, HSN posted all the links, including the one with the auto ship. So I started the reviews. Um, and so I already unboxed this. So I'm going to splice in that unboxing right now. You might hear that I sound surprised because I hadn't seen these in real life or anything like that. So, um, so I might mention that the links aren't there yet, but they are. The links are in the description box. Everything's ready to go for uh, the November 2nd craft day. So I know a lot of you guys have been purchasing the items early, so that's really great. Um, so let's put that unboxing in right now. So let me open this up. So this is Happy Mail Pull Dies and Stamp Auto Ship. All right, guys. So that's the other thing. Sometimes when they post things, if it has an auto ship, they may not post it until the actual um, day. But um, we will see. Oh, this is cute already. I know we love our envelopes. So check out that little envelope. So cute. Okay, let me open this up. And they may not be related, I don't know. Because the other uh, one is a stamp set that has to do with envelopes, but again, I'm not sure. Let me open this. So these are the dies that we're looking at already that look super adorable. There's some interaction here going, I'm sure, because I can see these pieces that look like there's going to be some interactivity here. And then we have our uh, little envelope uh, with the score marks and everything. And some cute things. Um, cutting folder, always a nice size for the marquee. Oh, this is good. It does also come with um, a dimensional adhesive, which I had reviewed long ago that Diamond Press had put out. So I'm glad to see this because they did have some really great dimensional adhesives. So there's some in this kit. And then the stamps. Oh, cute. I always love little postal stamps. So we have this, look at this one. looks like a little bundle of cards or postcards. Super cute friend. Happy birthday. I'm thinking of you. Smiles. Congrats. You're the best. We have these other ones here um, with the little um, mailbox, paper hugs, all that's sweet because right now we don't have a lot of hug hugs, do we? <laughs> Thank you. And then you got mail, lots of different sentiments in here. The little bird with the um, envelope, which is adorable. Little uh, paper airplane and some decoration here is what it looks like. And then we do have some sets of um, instructions. So again, I'm not exactly sure. I use this one. So we have the Happy Mail Hidden Message Kit. Oh, guys, we love that, don't we? All right, so it's telling you pretty much how you're going to start off with your card base and then what you're going to need. And so I'm going to read over this. And we will know... Oh, my goodness. So cute. Okay, so it looks like what we're going to do is open up the little envelope with that little uh, pull tab, and then we're going to have our little hidden messages in there. <gasps> Okay, and so, so what we're gonna do, so yeah, I hopefully I said things okay. I don't remember exactly what I said. Um, but yeah, I hadn't seen uh, the, you know, Diamond Press email yet or anything like that when I started filming these, so um, I had no idea what I was looking at quite yet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna try and follow along with the color scheme that they have here, because I like to do that for you guys. That way it's um, less confusing if this is, you know, at all in any way going to, um, sidetrack you, you know, so I'm going to look for some coral paper for the card base and then um, like a aqua kind of looking paper. Maybe I'll use white for the pull tab because I don't have gray paper, but this is kind of a light bluish. Maybe some craft and then again that coral color. Okay, so I'm going to go grab those colors and we will start cutting. Okay, I have my card base here. It's a little more orange than it's coral, but I have the aqua and I thought those colors look nice together. So this is just the card base, so we'll put that to the side. Um, and then... I'm going to start arranging these. So basically the card base is this larger piece here. So I'm gonna cut that out from this guy. And he's gonna be a good size, so I'm gonna stick it down, but um, I'm gonna cut out with a, a newer folder so that we don't pinch the 
the paper too much. Okay, so we have that guy. And then we need the piece that I said I would cut on white paper, which is this one. Try to keep that on there. Nope, fits right there. Yep, right to the edge. So cut that guy out. And then we need. Like I said, I'm going to follow this so it's like brown card stock, so I'm using craft out of this guy. That's probably a good thing to do because craft card stock is much thicker than regular card stock. I've never seen a craft card stock that isn't like super sturdy, so um, it's good stuff. Cut that guy out. And then it says pull tab guide, which is this little guy right here. And I believe this is going to be done in two pieces or two parts because this is uh, this part here and then we need the part that's going to make our cute little uh, envelope that opens up. So I'm just going to run these guys through. Sorry, I have a lot of stuff sitting next to me here. All right, for the smaller pieces, I always use a well-loved folder because it'll keep cutting and I'll keep using them until they don't cut, which I have not come across yet. But um, again, the kits always come with a, a new folder, so. And then you can buy refills also that are pretty inexpensive as far as you know cutting plates and folders are concerned. So there's that one. I'm just gonna run them all through and I'll be right back. So I always give the tip for the big guys to angle them as much as you can so that you don't just hit a speed bump and then it just, uh, doesn't cut too well through that piece so just angle it as well as you can because I know it can even be just a little a little bit because obviously it's almost as big as the folder but it really helps out so I don't want to tear this of course this low-tech tape the bane of my existence all right there we go okay so I try to put these things back on the carriers I think this was in here somewhere <laughs> I don't remember where it was but we'll put that to the side for now and we have our pieces here. All right, so we have the first few pieces that we're going to need. And step three there is to glue this guy to this guy. And I'm going to glue them, you know, nice side to this side, just the way they're showing it in the picture. And I'm going to use a fast drying glue so we can move on. There we go. I'm going to keep it nice and straight as I can. And then the next thing would be to apply glue to the right and left sides of the pull tab guide and adhere to pull tab. And here, pull tab guide, sorry, to the back of the card base. I haven't had my coffee yet. Oh, the time change. Does that bother you guys? I, it bothers me when they do the time change thing, but um, it is so dark right now. <laughs> It's like your body wants to just keep sleeping. All right, so we have this guy and this guy, and I'm gonna put the nice side, I'm assuming, facing. So we're just gonna put glue on the very edges here. And I'm trying to keep clear of, obviously, that slit there. You don't wanna... Right there. And I'm gonna let that dry before we move on, because the next thing would be to go ahead and put those pieces together and I want this to be fully dry, so I'll be back. So I was kind of um, reading over this just to make sure what we're doing. I want to note, here this pull tab piece that reinforces is brown. I use craft cardstock, and here it's like that grayish color, I used white, right? But when you turn over here, it depends on how you want to use this, I suppose, because if I leave it with that white facing me, uh, the cart, the craft card stock is going to be what's showing when you actually use the pull tab, which doesn't bother me. I think it's cute, so I'm going to leave it that way. But if you want the white showing, you're going to have to turn it and do it this way with the brown facing you, okay? Um, if you do two different colors, I suppose uh, now that I see that and I see the differentiation, the next time I would probably make this out of one color. 
so that'll make it easier. But okay. So again, I'm gonna make it like this just because it'll be easier to follow along and you can see what I'm doing here. So it says to tuck the little pull tabs, or these little tabs, they're not pull tabs, but these little tabs in. And then we're gonna go from behind this card, because this is actually gonna be covered up so you don't see this mechanism back here. So that'll be the, the right side of your paper. So having said that, again, some people like when you cut into something that has that curved edge and then the other side is more rough. If I had known that that was gonna be turned around, I would have adhered this to the rough side. Okay, so just some notes. Okay, so I'm gonna take this guy and come in from behind up the front. And then all you're gonna do is go over that little slit and then tuck her in past that slit, okay? Oh, I'm trying to get my finger in there. There we go. And then push it in here. And everything kind of needs to go up, including those little tabs, okay? So it's gonna stop because this is wider. But now you're gonna flip open the little tabs. Um, I just let to see, do you glue them or just leave them like that? Insert into slot, to pull through, unfold flaps. Okay, so that's it. No, we don't glue them because you need the movement, right? Later you're gonna need that to be there to, to move it up and down. Okay, so there's that. Again, this is how we're looking at it here, but this is how it's gonna be on your card. Okay, now I'm gonna put this to the side and grab um, some white paper because I don't think I have enough yet for this other piece. Okay, so I'll now we're right gonna work on the little envelope. So I need two envelope flaps and one envelope base and one card. Uh, the card is light blue here, but I'm gonna use um, a beige color. Actually, this is the white, but I'll use a beige color in just a minute. So from this white paper, I am going to trim out two of these, one of the base. Okay. And then um, again, I'm just gonna use this cream color paper for the little cards. So this is your card. And this is where you're gonna put your little note or whatever it is that you wanna say. It'll be really cute. So let's cut that out too. We have our two pieces. And again, this was on here somewhere. <laughs> like, yeah, sure, there we go. And then, oh, so cute. I know everyone's like, oh, envelopes. We love our envelopes, they're so cute. Okay, let me stick it down and then, or somewhere, I don't know. Okay, I can do that later. <laughs> All right. Okay. So now we're gonna bring back, uh, basically we're on, that was step six, we're on step seven. And of course I tucked my card base, this base somewhere else that I had to go look for it uh, before I forgot. So we're gonna turn it over. So you're on your nice side, right? And we're gonna take the two envelope flaps. Now, when you pull this, um, I'm just gonna glue them rough cut to rough cut, okay? So either way, it's a nice uh, side will be sticking out here. So let me apply adhesive to both envelope flaps and apply them to both sides of the moving flap. So I'm gonna put glue on this. The reason it says to both, because you're gonna glue this, you want it to stick to this, obviously. So we're gonna put this here and I'm gonna glue that on. I'm just lining it up with the bottom of this strip you know what I'm saying, where this ends? So it makes most sense to me. And then we do this one. So again, I'm doing them nice rough cut to rough cut. Oh my gosh, so funny. Okay, I'm not squishing it too much in case glue comes out. I don't want it to stick in the back. So I'm basically just being very ginger. Ginger, gingerly, is that word ginger? Hmm. I guess gingerly is the word. Okay, I'm gonna leave that alone for now. Let that dry. And then this little cutie, we're, uh, again, this is the nice side, this is the rough cut side, right? Where the dye went into it. So I'm gonna, I know this, when we fold this up, it's gonna be this way. So you want the nice side facing. And really easy to fold with all the little score marks they already made. And we're just gonna put a little glue here and here. And I'm using a wet glue, you wanna use a dry, you know, glue runner, that's up to you. I'm gonna hold this down for a minute and I'll be back. Okay guys, I think it's nice and dry and now we're just gonna adhere this and you know I'll do a dry adhesive just to get that down. And I don't see anywhere on here it says to fold this, but I think we have to fold it. <laughs> so uh, maybe I'm not seeing the right thing, but because otherwise, 
it's not going to do anything, <laughs> right? It's not doing much. So I'm assuming I have to fold this, but let me see when it's down. I don't know. Okay. Okay, guys, so <laughs> I'm going to say something here because you saw that I was trying to, and it wasn't moving too much. On the back, this piece needs to kind of bend. I was just kind of like, why is it not? So I forced it, <laughs> and when I forced it, it made its own score line right here. Did you see that? So now it goes up and down, and it works. So I'm not sure because I, I know it's not scored on this thing, and it didn't say here to score that. So just so you know that that's what's going to happen, okay? <laughs> so so just, you know, I you saw me pulling up and down, and as I was doing that, I went like this really hard, and it just scored itself. Okay, so sorry I didn't capture that there, but I want you to see that because when we stick this down, it's not going to be flat like this, because if it was flat like this, it, would, it wouldn't work. Um, there's going to be dimensional adhesives back here that help um, keep that separation, that, that, that width that you need for that to kind of clear and go up and down, okay? So um, kind of odd because normally they would, I, I would assume they would say something. I'm sorry if I'm missing it. Maybe I'm missing it, but I don't see that. <laughs> So, um, so just giving you the, uh, the heads up on that. Okay. Cause that is, um, different, right? I wasn't expecting that. Okay. So again, the kit comes with your dimensional adhesive. So you don't have to guess on that, what you need. So we're, that's it. Isn't that cute? So I'm assuming the other ones that come later are going to work the same way. Cause you have the main mechanism and then you're going to use your other pieces. Sorry, little Miranda just woke up and she was sleeping on the couch. I told you my husband was kind of quarantining, so he's uh, taken over the master bedroom and the bath and all that. And we are here, down here on the couch. And Miranda loves to stay with mama, so she's sleeping on the couch here. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm glad I figured that out because honestly, I would have, I, I was thinking like, what am I gonna, like, what, what should I, you know, should I let them know it's not working? <laughs> How do I figure this out? But it was just that piece, so, all right. And then it just shows on the back here to put down, um, however much foam adhesive, where are we? What page are we on this page here? So they're basically telling you to put it either, either side here for stability, right? So here and here, and then a couple down the corners. And three across the top. So I'll go at the very top here. All right. Okay, that makes me feel much better. I was a little worried there. All right, let me make sure we're clearing that. Okay, I'm gonna pick the backs off of these. Really easy to do. I just noticed the back of their paper isn't super slick. It's kind of almost papery feeling, so it's easier to grab. Maybe it's just me. Because <laughs> you guys know how, look at this. You all know my pretty much hate-hate relationship with this kind of stuff. All right, let me score this card base. I didn't score it yet. Alright. Well, I guess it's not hate hate. It's more of love hate because I do love dimensional adhesives. <laughs> but I do not like taking off the little backs. Alright. Okay, so this is the basic card. Again, a few tips would be um, when you go to do the, um, the mechanism on the back, know that that is going to be on the back of the card. I, I didn't know what I should have looked ahead, but again, when you go to the, this part, make sure you're hearing these pieces to the back of the card, what you would consider the back, right? The rough cut side, and then move forward with that. If you want to do these two different colors or one color, but whatever's facing out is the color you're going to be looking at. Um, and then again, at the very end there, give it a really nice, a really nice tug to get that little crease going. Okay, perfect. There we go. <laughs> so cute. Oh, and I suppose we can pop our little card in here. Uh, I am going to do some decorating of that. So for now, I'll pop it in there. But how cute is that? Aw. Okay, I'll be back. Uh, let me think about what we want to do as far as stamping and maybe adding some, some little something to this, obviously, to dress it up. And I'll be right back. I think I'm going to, since that was pretty quick to put together, I'm going to do a little, um, a little coloring. So I'll use the little mailbox. And there's my squid ink. I'm just using some heavy duty stamping paper, so uh, from Crafters Companion, so you can also um, 
use my alcohol ink markers. That little cutie. And then maybe I'll do um, a uh, die cut for the sentiment. So I will be right back. I'm just going to color this in with some alcohol ink markers. And when I'm done, I'll be back. Just gonna take this little guy. I just use some tri blends, just the five or six of them here to get a nice coloring. And they do usually leave a little white space around um, their dies, the um, around their stamped images. Uh, Diamond Press does, so I like to kind of eyeball it. And you can pretty much see, you know, this the post there, the flag that looks good. I'm probably gonna put another piece of tape so it doesn't move. Sorry if that was loud. I'm just gonna toss that down there. Okay, so we have that. I'm gonna trim that out. Uh, I'm gonna use the word pull. We're gonna stamp that on our little pull tab here. And then um, I wanna use some of the cutouts here, the die cuts. Um, it just says we have hello, sending, love, happy mail. And then on this other one we have obviously little hearts. We have the word you. So I'm just gonna use happy mail. Well, you know what? Does that make much sense? So I do sending... I'm going to cut them all. These letters sending you happy mail. And then we'll see if it all fits or how I'm going to use that. I'll pick a color to cut these out with and I'll be right back. Okay. So I have my pieces and I probably should trim them out just so I would have everything popped out here. But uh, there we go. So I'm sending you happy mail. Very delicate. Okay, there's the U. Oh, okay, at least popped out without having to be poked out too much. And then we have our main look at that. So cute. So I'm gonna uh, put glue in the back of my hand and adhere the words Happy Mail just on here. And then I'm gonna glue the back of my hand and stick down. I think I'm gonna put them on the envelope. I don't know, let me see. We have this little cutie right here. I need to stamp that. Hmm. Yeah, I kind of want to put it on here. And that's just, you know, my preference, but you can do whatever you like, obviously. So I'm gonna stick that down there. I'll wait for this. And then um, I'm gonna stick the word Happy Meal on here. Okay, before we finish up, I have that sending you on there. I'm gonna open this up. I'm gonna stamp the word uh, pull here, but you can stamp that at any point now that you kind of know what you're doing as far as setting it up. You could have stamped this earlier too. I'm just gonna use some brown ink. Hopefully that'll, yeah, I think it's visible enough. I didn't wanna go with black because I thought black was kind of stark with the colors I was using, but maybe a little deeper brown would have worked better. But there you go. Okay, and then we have our little guy. I was trying to see if I glued this uh, right. There we go, so cute. And then your recipient can obviously pull that out. We have sending you. And then I have this little cutie that we need to go ahead and glue down. Um, and you can do, you know, with a little puffy, a little 3D effect. But I think I'm going to keep it flat because if you were going to send this, you already have the dimension with the dimensional adhesive. And now you're going to have another layer of dimension. And that puts you in another dimension of postage, right? So I'll just keep this one flat. And that way it'll still go out with a regular stamp. All right. And about there. 
All right, guys. So uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you would like to see what's going to be in the auto ship, make sure to see, look at Diamond Press's um, YouTube channel. I, I believe they posted uh, Beth's Facebook Live on there because I think it was in my recommendation. So I did see that. That's there. Super cute. And then one's like a little cupcake looking maybe an ice cream cone. It was cupcake, I think. And then some that are like um, hearts or like a floral bouquet or things like that. Really cute. The door. Oh, the door is adorable. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope that helped you out. And I will see you all at the next one. Bye now. So cute.